Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you everybody? Are you okay? I hope everybody will be fine. Guys, once again in the series of 200 technical terms for civil engineers in part 9, I am the front of you. As you know guys, 200 technical term series is very important for every civil engineering student if they are working on construction site, if they are studying and also it's important for non-civil engineering people because these are short technical terms and very helpful for everyone especially if you want to construct your building and you are not a civil engineer so this is also important for you so let's start guys and remember if you didn't watch the part first second third till part eight so the link is in the description of this video so if this video is helpful for you or if this series is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video so guys in previous video i discussed uh, about part nine and this is part nine so i will get start from 81 term to 90 in next video i will get start from 91 to 100 let's start guys guys in 81 term we will discuss us gallon that how many liters of water are in one us gallon so one us gallon is equal 3.178 liters if someone asks from you that how many liters are in one gallon us gallon so you can answer them 3.178 8 liters so for example if someone tell you that we require 3 gallon of water for concrete so it's mean 3 multiply 3.178 then we will find the total numbers of liters okay so this is the term number 81 the next one is term number 82 1 kilonewton km kilonewton as you know especially in load load on column load on beam load on rcc structure so there we have 200 kilonewton load and 500 kilonewton load etc so do you know how many kg uh, one newton is how many kg so guys in one kilonewton and one kilonewton it is very important also in interview they can ask from you that how many kg are in one kilonewton so one kilonewton is equal 101.97 kgs 101.97 kgs are in 1 kilonewton now you can find you can find the total load in kg for example if there are uh, 200 kilonewton so 200 kilonewton multiply 101.97 kgs okay so this is the term number 82 now we have the term number 83 maximum chair spacing in slab is 1 meter as you know guys uh, this is the picture of chairs in rcc slab so we provide chairs okay so uh, to keep the uh, distance uh, between main bars and distribution bars okay so for that we provide the uh, chairs so the maximum space between two chair is one meter okay it should not be more than placed with uh, more than one meter so this is the maximum space uh, between two chairs that is one meter so otherwise you will face the problem it cannot work in rcc slave if you provide if you place the chairs more than one meter this is the maximum okay maximum chair spacing guys the term number 84 can tell you m25 grade concrete as you know the ratio of m25 grade concrete is one uh, ratio one ratio two one part is cement one part is sand and two part is crush or aggregate so this ratio m25 grade of concrete mostly used for the construction of foundation as you know guys foundation is the one of uh, one of the important part of the building so if the foundation is strong so the building will be safe otherwise you will face the problem so therefore i recommend you if you want to uh, do a best construction for building construction if that is construction uh, if that is commercial building if that is a domestic building and you need to get a good strength so you should do the uh, foundation with the uh, m with m m25 grade concrete so you will not face the problem in future okay mostly in government works okay so they use m25 grade concrete for building construction especially in commercial building right now guys in uh, 85 terms minimum space should be 12 inches minimum space should be 12 inches between door and window minimum space between door and window should be not less than 12 inches okay as you can see guys uh, this is the internal elevation of the room as you can see guys uh, suppose this is the window and this is a door 
okay so this space guys this one space okay so this space should not be less than 12 inches remember this point this is also very important now guys in term number uh, sorry this is uh, 85 this is 86 sorry 87 88 89 90 okay so it become 91 but no problem okay so guys uh, here uh, average ceiling heights what is the average ceiling heights for bedroom okay so the minimum uh, size of the ceiling is 210 centimeter it should not be less than the ceiling height should not be less than 210 centimeter and the standard is 240 centimeter and the good ceiling height is 260 centimeter remember this point now guys come to term number 87 cement should be stored in dry place for building construction we bring the cement and we store on construction site or uh, in a room etc okay so the cement should be uh, stored at dry place not in wet place okay this is the other important point now term number 88 can tell you cement bags should not be shaped more than 10 bags in height as you know we put one bag of cement on the other and other on the other so we should not shake okay uh, more than 10 bags in height otherwise it will convert to the solid form and that can and that cannot be used in building construction right the other one is guys 89 term uh, that is cement bags should be above minimum 30 centimeter of the ground so when we are store uh, if you want to store the cement on site for building construction to do building construction so the cement should not be directly stored on the ground level but the cement should be stored above minimum 30 centimeter from the ground level right otherwise it will make uh, uh, from walls from soil it will make seepage and that uh, can lose the strength right this is also one of the important point term number 89 or uh, 80 and, and 90 can tell you this one cement bags should not be touched the wall many people they store a cement on construction site or in a room so for example this is the wall for example this is the wall so when we want to store the cement so the cement should not be touched the wall if it touch the wall so it is also convert to the solid form the cement convert to the solid form so after some days and also remember guys that the cement should not be stored for the long time right so if you need uh, for example 100 bags of cement for uh, two weeks or for three weeks so it's sufficient it's enough bring those cements which you can uh, use uh, about three weeks okay so when you are using or uh, when you store the cement for long time so it can also lose the uh, strength of the cement okay so the cement when when we store the cement so the cement should not be touch the wall so it should be uh, away from the wall okay uh, if that is six inch or four inch or five inch but it should not be touch the wall okay this is also very important the part number last that is 91 or 90 don't buy the cement if expiry is not available on the bag most of the, uh, cement factories uh, they don't place the expiry date on the cement bag okay so for example this is the side view of the as you can see this is the top view of the cement for example okay so uh, and this is the side of the bag okay so on the side of the bag there is expiry on the cement so if the expiry date is not available on the cement bag so that cement should not be buy for building construction because maybe that cement is expired because if the expiry is not available on the bag so how you will know is the cement is expired or not so these are some useful uh, 10 or 11 terms in part number 9 which I have discussed the front of you but guys don't miss the other parts uh, in the series of 200 technical terms the link is in the description of this video see you in next video and remember if you have any question about these terms so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye